you are looking to flip houses in the Cleveland market, I am here to help you accomplish that goal. Not only will I go over the numbers, how the deal will work, you can go even further and partner with me and my team to actually get the deal done. Today, we're going to go over a flip. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you flip Houses in the Cleveland market. Now, truth be told, a lot of what I do, a lot of what I talk about is going to be valuable information for anybody in any market, right? So if you're just watching this trying to learn how to flip deals, a lot of what I teach you is going to help you get in the game, right? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. Uh, Holton Wise Construction is a massive company. We got the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind in our market. So I know a thing or two about the business, right? Uh, what we're doing today is I'm working with my guy, Mike. I'm going to teach him about a flip, and we're going to go one step further. I could actually work with Mike and represent him as his buyer's agent on this deal, handle the entire renovation so he doesn't have to do any of the dirty work, and then I will resell it, right? And what you're hoping to do, Mike, your goals are to pick up a property that's got an ARV of about 225 k and you want to be all in with your acquisition and your repair costs. You want those to be 75% of that ARV. So I'm going to show you what that deal would look like right after this. Two, please. Welcome back to the show, folks. Let us pull lettuce, lettuce, like a salad. Let us, let Spacebar us pull up the deal. 16336 Park Lawn Ave, Middleburg Heights, 44130. This was on the market for 14 days. Priced at $169,122. Current status, it just got withdrawn, okay? Withdrawn yesterday. What that means is the seller and the agent are having some issues. Perhaps they weren't getting the traction on this they wanted to. This is a pain point. When we're trying to flip properties, we need to focus on pain points, folks. The property itself is in fairly decent condition, but we are going to have to go ahead and do a cosmetic reno on this to get it to sell for top dollar, right? Those are the kind of flips I really like, especially when you're flipping houses out of state, right? You don't want to do crazy huge jobs, right? You want to try to get in, get out, and stuff like this is perfect, right? Like, it's just, it looks like, you know, it's from the 70s, right? Actually, this one's probably original to the 50s when the house was built, right? So you can come in and do some nice cosmetic tweaks to this thing, right? You don't want to have to, like, restructure the basement, but if you can get in and just... Uh, do a nice, quick cosmetic rehab. You can get in, you can get out, right? So when you hear people say things like the bones are good, those are the kind of flips you guys want to start off with, especially new in your career, right? So uh, the address here, 16336 Park Lawn, Middleburg Heights, Ohio. Very nice neighborhood, right? It's like a high B, low A neighborhood, right? And we need to create that spread, right? We're trying to come in with our acquisition costs and our repair costs at 75% of the ARV. So that means you need to identify people with pain points, people who are in trouble. Now, is there a guarantee this deal goes through? Absolutely not. We're going to be offering people a lot less than what they're hoping for. That's why we are targeting people with pain points. The particular pain point that this investor, I mean, rather this seller has, is they're not getting along with their agent, right? So they're listed at 169. But we can't pay 169 because remember, we're trying to get in at 75% of our ARV, right? So, well, acquisition and repairs have to be 75% of our ARV. So the first question is, well, what's our ARV? Our ARV on this one, 225, right? List price, 169. We want to sell it for 225. Obviously, you can't just buy it and resell it for that price. We got to fix it up, right? 
first of all, let me show you where I'm pulling the 225 number. This is a comp. This is a comp on the same street. This sold in 2021 at 220000 right? This is our target comp. We want to sell our property for this price. And as you can see, much nicer home, right? This doesn't look like it's right out of the 50s, okay? It is newer. It is fresher. It's looking pretty good. The kitchen, honestly, truth be told, not even going to be as nice as our kitchen. A little dated compared to ours, right? So we should have no problem hitting that 225 price point when this property was able to sell at 220 right they even got some finished basement in here all told pretty nice property right there's your unfinished section but this this is our cop right so now we have established that 225 is our arv how do we get there well to get to 225 what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to paint the walls patch any holes in those walls refinish the hardwood floors throughout the house also update those floors in the kitchen make them a more updated vinyl floor not from like the 50s we will do so in the bathroom as well totally redo that kitchen that 1950s kitchen ain't gonna work one of the bathrooms is going to be refinished with a custom shower the other will be a one-piece tub surround that should come in at approximately 42,000 on the low end if things go over budget it could go as high as 50k right so 42k is a a reasonable purchase price I mean I'm sorry a reasonable renovation budget right so now we have two pieces to the pot we have our ARV two and a quarter we have our renovation budget 42,000 so where do we plug in the other numbers well the list price is 169 122 we can't pay that right the most we could pay and still acquire this property at a price point that allows us to do the $42,000 reno and still be at 75% of that ARV is $126,750, right? So that would be our purchase price. Our renovations would be forty two. dollars My team can do all of those renovations. We will also be the people selling it for you when it sells later. Of course, you'll need to pay us a commission, and the closing costs will also be in there. So that would net out a $38,000 thousand dollar profit for you if this flip would go through my team would do all the dirty work but of course when you're flipping houses people you need to understand something this is a numbers game if we wanted to pay 169 i'm sure we can get the deal probably a hundred percent of the time but we don't we got to get the sellers to accept 126 that's why we target something like this because there's a pain point they're having trouble maybe their agent didn't come through hey Mr. Seller, here you go. We could do the deal. This is the price. Does it go through? If it does, great. I laid it out how you make 38 k If it doesn't, we get back to the drawing board. We analyze the next one because flipping houses is a numbers game. You got to throw a big net in the ocean to catch a bunch of fish. You don't catch all the fish, but the bigger the net, the more fish you catch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.